Dung Beetle. A six minutes documentary produced by Sam Kimani. When you think of a dung beetle, possibly you picture a beetle pushing a ball of poo along the ground. But that's not the case with all dung beetles. One can classify dung beetles into four broad categories. The first group, the rollers. The rollers will roll dung into round balls for use as food or a source in which the females can lay their eggs. Those that eat dung do not need to eat or drink anything else, because their dung provides all the necessary nutrients. The second group is known as tunnelers. This group buries their dung where they find it. The third group, called the dwellers, do not roll or burrow, they simply live in the manure. The final group, a bunch of lazy beetles, will steal dung balls from the rollers and are known as stealers. So the rollers have to move rapidly away from a dung pile once they have rolled their ball to prevent it from being stolen. As the front legs usually have serrated edges, used for powerful digging. Colors range from black to brown to red and can have a metallic appearance. Males often have one or two horns. Most dung beetles search for dung using their sensitive sense of smell. Some smaller species simply attach themselves to the dung providers to wait for the dung. After capturing their dung, a dung beetle rolls it, following a straight line despite all obstacles. Dung beetles can roll up to 10 times their weight. Male dung beetles can pull 1,141 times their own body weight. The rollers roll and bury a dung ball either for food storage or for making a brooding ball. When a spot with soft soil is found, they stop and bury the ball. For the nesting species, the pair works on forming a brood ball out of the dung, which contains a large amount of roughage. The pair continue to work as a team to bury the ball. The female, which typically has shorter, thicker legs, digs while the male helps haul the soil from the tunnel. In case the female beetle finds a hard surface while digging, it stops digging, and continues rolling the ball. The female and male dung beetles might roll the ball for a very long distance before it finds a completely soft soil to bury the ball. The female lays one egg in each ball. She then seals the brood ball, seals the tunnel, and begins the process again if she is of a species that lays several eggs. In about a week, the egg hatches within the brood ball. The larva feasts on the interior contents of the ball, eating about 40-50%, and sealing the interior with its own excrement along the way. This leads to a totally enclosed, protected environment. The larva does not have to compete with others for a food source, and is also protected from predators outside the brood ball. If the integrity of the brood ball is destroyed, the larva will die.
Under ideal environmental conditions, the larva will pupate at an average of three weeks. A young adult beetle emerges, eats its way out of the brood ball, forms a new tunnel to crawl out through, and goes on its way in search of fresh manure. The newly merged beetles will breed two weeks later, with a complete generation taking six weeks under ideal environmental conditions. Dung beetles keep our planet clean of animal wastes, disperse plant seeds, improve soil quality, control pests, and serve as food for a variety of animals. They are also fun to watch. I wish to introduce many characteristics of the dung beetles in our next episode and to describe the religious significance of one species of in particular. Please, subscribe to this channel, Chidi Productions, for more documentaries.